is the right key. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another Destiny Guardian. video. Guiding Light here and in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can actually get your hands on the Mita Multi-Tool in Destiny 2. Now this is a pretty long quest line. It took me about two and a half hours to complete. Now in order to unlock this quest line, what you guys are going to need to do first is complete the story. You won't be able to do what is required of this quest until the story is completed so you will need to get that out of the way first. Now once you guys have completed the official like Destiny 2 storyline, what you need to do from there is go into the EDZ. Now at the EDZ what you guys actually need to do is go around to all of the quests. You need to knock out all of the quests that are on the planet. Now those are going to be the blue missions on your map if you're just looking at your map and trying to find the missions. Those are going to be the blue ones that pop up and you need to knock out all of those missions. Now those missions are actually pretty long and that can actually take up a big chunk of time before even getting into this quest line at all. But once you guys have finished all of the missions on the EDZ, you need to head back to the church and speak to the vendor up top and he will actually give you the Mita mini tool which is pretty funny. I thought that uh, was pretty cool of them to add this in as well. It's a little submachine gun Mita multi tool that actually gives you extra benefits when the Mita multi tool is equipped as well. So if you use them in combination it actually is pretty cool. I'm interested to see what that's going to be like in Crucible. But otherwise... Once you guys knock that out, you're going to get the Mita Mini Tool, and you want to head straight to the Traveler and speak to the Gunsmith. Once you guys get to the Gunsmith, you'll be handed the quest line, and the first step's actually pretty simple. You just need to get a Scout Rifle, and you need to get 50 kills with Precision Damage, and then you're also going to need to get multiple enemies killed without reloading. So there's only 25 of those and 50 of the headshots. Now in order to get those pretty quickly, instead of going back to Earth and just running around, uh, since I had done all of the quest lines there, I just went back over to Io, started doing the quests on that planet as well. There's a bunch of public events that'll pop up, and while doing the quest lines, there'll be tons of enemies for you to kill with a scout rifle, and you should be able to get this done in about 1-2 to two missions. Now just like quite a few of the exotic quest lines in Destiny 1, you will be heading back and forth between Banshee and the planets, just doing a bunch of little tasks for him that have to do with scout rifles. Now, I have to say though guys, if you are trying to get this quest line done, if you have scout rifles in your inventory or in your vault, you do want to save them for this quest line. You will at one point or another need to start dismantling scout rifles. And I actually made the mistake and headed to my postmaster and deleted all of my weapons before turning in my quest. So if you do want to make sure that you do this quest as fast as possible, be sure to just stock up on scout rifles. You're going to need to dismantle 5 rare or legendary scout rifles during this quest. So just make sure that you have a few ready whenever you're getting into this or you will have to grind those out and it can make the quest take a little bit longer. So once that step of the quest is completed, just head straight to Banshee 44. Don't check your post or something like that and start deleting scout rifles like I did. Be sure to head straight to Banshee 44 and pick up the quest. That way you can start dismantling your guns straight away. You won't end up deleting any that don't count towards the quest and you can get this step out of the way as this could become the longest step on the quest line if you actually have to get all five scout rifles. So this is probably the longest part of the quest right here. Now you can delete scout rifles in the primary or secondary slot. It won't make a difference. They'll all count towards the quest. I was kind of curious about that because the quest was in my primary slot. I wasn't really sure if that was going to matter. You can dismantle whichever ones you like and they will all count towards the quest. Now once you've got that out of the way, that's the most annoying part of the quest, I think. Unless you already have 5 scout rifles ready, it's definitely the most annoying part of the quest. After that, you just head back to Banshee44 again. He'll hand you the next step of the quest. This time, you actually need to use the Mita mini tool that you were given at the very beginning of this quest line to get 50 airborne kills. So this took me about 15 to 20 minutes, and I did the same thing that I did for the rest of the quest lines. I just went into my quests that I had to do on other planets. If a public event popped up or if ads were in my way, I took them out, and I just went along with my mission. That way I could just keep leveling up my character and keep getting gear and stuff, that, and I wasn't really just going out of my way just specifically for the weapon. The higher your light level is when you actually unlock it, the higher it's going to drop. So I figured just keep getting gear as you grind out the quest, and hopefully it'll drop at as high as possible whenever you actually finish it. That way you won't have to waste gear later like legendary marks trying to level it up to a higher light level. So once you've got your 50 airborne kills, just head back to Banji44 at the Traveler, and the Mine Multi-Tool will be waiting for you. Now mine dropped at a 273. Now if you guys have used the Mita Multi-Tool before in Destiny 1, it's pretty much the exact same. It seems to have react the same. The only thing I noticed that was different was a, a smaller clip size here. We only have 16 shots now in each clip. But when testing it out in PvE, it still seemed to be very effective and it seemed just to be like the exact same Mita Multi-Tool that we were used to seeing in D1. So if you like the Mita in Destiny 1, you're definitely going to like the Mita in Destiny 2. So here's a little bit of gameplay for you guys if you want to just see what I'm talking about, about in PvE. It still is pretty much the same, the recoil seems to be about the same, and everything about it is just like the one from Destiny 1. 
So hopefully this guide helped you guys out. Hopefully you guys can get your Mighty Multi tools somewhat quickly before Trials launches next week or even before the raid. If this video helped you out guys, be sure to drop a like down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe as well. I'll be uploading more guides, more gameplays, and also more trials once that is out as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Good luck grinding out Destiny 2, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.